Shalom Israel, Shalom. Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rakat Kadash. Love and honors to the apostles and elders of the great Muslim who taught me this truth in his entirety, according to the Bible. Peace and salutations to the Akimah, they're pushing his truth all over the earth. So, yeah, quick lesson, quick lesson, man. I was watching this video, man, you know, and uh, vocabs at it again, man, you know. Basically, scoffing, right? Him and this, uh, Dr. Michael Heiser, you know, scoffing, scoffing, you know what I mean? Making mockery, right? Typical, right? But, uh, yeah, I'll leave the link in my, in, in, in I'll leave the link below. But, um, yeah, they're scoffing, man. So, the title of this lesson, Playing to Him That Understand, right? But, yeah, you know, I've seen this, I've seen this guy cut so many times, man. You know what I mean? I've seen him cut so many times, thousands of times, man, by the elders. The elders, the GMS elders have cut this guy so many times, man. And it's like, you think he'd stop, right? <laughs> He's a glutton for punishment, man. Right? Right? But he wrestles with scriptures, man. What is to be expected? It's to be expected. If you don't get it, if you don't understand it, that's how you're going to come off, man. You're going to just continue to wrestle with scripture. And, and, and show more and more that you, you you don't get it, right? But yeah, let's grab some precepts, man. First precept is... uh. First precept is... uh. Second Corinthians 4. Yeah, man, this man... The gospel's hit to them, man. Second Corinthians 4, verse 3. Right? But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Right? Our gospel, if it's hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Right? Plain as day. If you're lost, it's hidden. You don't get it, you won't receive it. It's hidden. You're just not going to get it. You can't find it. You don't know where it's at. It's hidden. Look at the word gospel. Gospel, the teaching or revelation of Hamashiach, right? Right, the gospel is the teaching of, of, of the words of Hamashiach, man, right? The words of the words of Yahweh Shai, right? Who, who's, who, who's, whose words are of his father, right? Let's get that, man. Yahweh Shai's words are the words of his father, man, right? And he, and he put them on us. He taught us his word, right? John 17. John 17. Yeah, John 17, verse 8. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. This is red letter, so it's Yahweh Shai talking. It was his prayer to Yahweh, right? When he was uh, praying for the apostles, you know? To be protected from the world, right? So yeah, John 17, verse 8. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst sent me. Right. The words of Yahweh through Yahweh Shai. There's another one down here. Reiterating that it's the word. Right. John 17 verse 14. I have given them thy word. And the world hath hated them. Because they are not of the world. Even as I am not of the world. Right. I have given them thy word. So yeah. Yahweh I came and gave us. Gave us the words of his father man. You know what I mean? So back, back to the precept. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Right. The word. If it's hid, it's hid to them that are lost. Clearly these guys are lost, man. Clearly vocab, vocab been lost, man. Right? Verse 4. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Right? The God of this world is blinding the mind. The God of this world being uh, adultery, uh, 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 coveting, sin upon sin, fornication, lasciviousness, uh, you know, Sin, man. Pure sin, guy. 
You know what I mean? Idol worship, right? In whom the God of this world, money, right? In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. So the God of this world has blinded their minds, man. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them, right? The only way you're going to receive the word is if the light of Yahweh Shai shines on you, man. If he breathes that truth on you, man. You know what I mean? If he breathes that truth, right? Didn't, didn't John 20 say he breathed on the apostles? He breathed the Holy Spirit on them. John 20, he breathed it. All right, that's the only way you're going to get this gospel, man. John 20, verse... Yeah, John 20, verse... John 20, verse 21. Then said Yahweh Shai to them again. Red letter, right? Yahweh Shai speaking, right? Peace be unto you. As my Father has sent me, even so send I you. And when he said this, he breathed on them, and he said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Spirit. Khan. Right? Yahweh Shai left the Holy Spirit. Right? Right? And unless you have that Holy Spirit, the Rakakadash, you're not going to retain these scriptures, man. You're not going to do it. You're going to wrestle. You're going to wrestle with it, man. Isn't that in Peter? Isn't that in Peter? The Spirit just jumped on me, man. Second Peter, you're going to wrestle with the scripture, man. And that's what these guys are doing. Second Peter 3, verse 16. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable, <laughs> unlearned and unstable, rest as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. So they wrestle with these scriptures, they don't get it, man. These unlearned, unstable cats, they wrestle with these scriptures, they don't get it. And it's ultimately going to lead to their own destruction, man. You know what I mean? Right? Where were we going before Before that scripture jumped in my mind? Uh, we're going to Proverbs 8. Proverbs 8, verse... Come on. Proverbs 8, verse 8. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. Right? There's nothing proud. There's nothing perverse in the words of righteousness. Right? They are all plain to him that understandeth. Right? And right to them that find knowledge. They're plain to him that understandeth. Right? You're only going to understand if the Holy, if the Rakakadash is dealing with you, man. Right? If that light's lit. Right? That's the only way it's going to be plain. And the only way you're going to understand, understand it, having that knowledge, that word breathed on, that, 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 that word breathed on you. Right? That's your understanding. That's your knowledge. That's the only, that's the only way it gets plain. Right? Let's close out with Yahweh Shai in Matthew. Right? Talking about this word. Right? Matthew 13. Matthew 13. Matthew 13, verse 10. And the, and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Red letter, Yahweh Shai speaking to his disciples, Because it is given unto you, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Right? You being the disciples. But to them it is not given. Them being the, the, the heathen. Right? The, the Gentiles. Uh, the, the other nations. Right? For whosoever hath to him shall be given. For, Salakia, for, whos, for whosoever hath to him shall be given. And he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not. From him shall be taken away, even that he hath. 
Therefore speak I to them in parables. Right? The Most High speaks to them in parables. Because they seeing see not. And hearing they hear not. Neither, they, neither do they understand. So the disciples understood the parables. But everybody else didn't get it. Nobody understood it. They, they saw and they, and, and they observed. But they didn't, they, they didn't see it. They didn't get it. They heard. But they, they didn't understand. Right? right? It goes back to uh, uh, what Isaiah said. And this was basically how it, like before I jumped out of there. Right? Before I jumped out of there, I think he went on to say that uh, Isaiah... Yeah, verse 14, and, them is, and, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. Right? Isaiah said that in, uh, in uh, Isaiah 6. We'll close out with this one, man. So yeah, unless, unless the Spirit's dealing with you, man, you're not going to get it, man. You're not going to get it. These guys continue to wrestle with scriptures. You know, I've seen them get rebuked and, 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 and cut so many times, man. And, they can, and, and he continues. Isaiah 6, verse 9. And he said, Go and tell this, this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Right? So your ears are closed up. The Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, closes up your ears, closes up your ears. You're not, your, your ears are closed up your eyes. You're not going to perceive it, man. You're not going to perceive it. You're not going to hear it. You're not going to understand it. He's got to open your ears. Bless you with the Holy Spirit. Right? And then the understanding kicks in, and then the perception kicks in, right? But until the until the, until unless that happens, you're gonna wrestle with scriptures. You're gonna look like an idiot, debating about it with your own breakdowns, right? Yeah. It is. Anyways, man, I, I pray you're edified, man. I just had to drop these quick precepts, man, because these guys were going back and forth, talking, talking all kind of uh, mocking and scoffing, man. You know what I mean? But I pray you're edified. Call Allah Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakak Kadash. The bonds are apostles and elders are great. Most of them taught me this truth in the entirety, according to the Bible. Peace and salutations to the Akim out there pushing this truth all over the earth. Kwam Yasharala, Abad Babal.